I'm back with, um, I guess I've been kind of doing two unboxings in this video. Um, the first one I'll go ahead and show you. If I can find my model. Just a moment. I'll walk in. Ollie, come here. Let's shut you in here so I can see you. Um, okay. So I locked my model in here so I could show you, but this is from a pinch me, but it's technically not like a normal pinch me box. And I'll go ahead and show you that. Um, this is the first time I've got one of these, but it says pinch me your exclusive product trial starts now. So here is the card that came in it. Um, and then here is what was inside. I applied to do this a couple, maybe three or four weeks ago. Um, and this is a comfort zone compression technology calming vest for large dogs. My dogs are, are wrestling, if you can hear them. Um, this is 100% satisfaction guarantee, recommended for thunder and fireworks, separation anxiety, travel, and vet visits. Um, featuring complete comfort compression technology. And we got this in a size large, which according to their sizing pamphlet here is for 41 to 64 pounds. Now my smaller dog here, Ollie, Roxy, uh, Roxy is about um, 45 to 50 pounds. So we sized this for her. We did take measurements around her chest. Ooh! Sorry about that. My tripod fell over. Um, we did take measurements for her, but um, unfortunately it doesn't fit her as snug as, as what would be useful for something that's supposed to be compression. Um, so we put on our bigger dog, Ollie, who is 195 pounds probably, which according to this would be in an extra large, but it fits him pretty good. Nice and snug. It looks like he's wearing a waist trainer, um, actually. So it's funny. Um, it, um, I lost my train of thought, but it gives you instructions on how to put on, um, kind of details. <clears throat> and the reason I was interested in this compression technology is I am a sufferer of anxiety attacks and panic attacks and things like that. And when I'm having an anxiety attack or a panic attack, the one thing that helps is being compressed. So a lot of times I will actually lay on the ground and the smaller, oh, they're both passed out now, but the smaller one whose head is currently under my bed will come lay on top of me or, um, you know, and he'll lay beside me. He's a little heavy, so he doesn't like to lay on top of me because he's a, sorry, I keep losing my train of thought because I'm crooked, but anyway, um, or being like held, you know, makes, makes the episode, um, over a lot quicker. So I, um, recently took Roxy, our smaller dog, to the vet and she herself suffers anxiety and that's really apparent, especially for separation anxiety and things like that. So I wanted to try this out on her and unfortunately, um, it doesn't fit her. It's baggy on her even and we can't tighten it. There's only a certain extent we can't tighten, to it, tighten it on her. So this video is actually getting kind of long, so I might wait and do my other unboxing in a different video. Um, but I just wanted to show you kind of what it looks like on our larger dog. Let me see. I don't know if I can switch the camera around or... Uh, no, I can't. I don't think. But, um... Ollie, come here, baby. Can I see you? Come here, pretty boy. Come on up here. Well, there's Roxy there. To have Foxy. Um, so there's Holly. How's it feel? Is it comfy? Can you sit? Good boy. Is it comfy? Is it comfy on you, Holly? Um, and he seems to have full mobility, so it's not too snug. Can I have a paw? Good boy. He's a good boy. Um, so I will undo it just so you can see how it comes on. So on Roxy, this, this is as short as it, I don't know if you can see that very well. Yeah, I'm not going to kind of demonstrate this way just because, um, on selfie cam, it's hard to kind of display, but so 
So that's as far as that goes. So on our smaller dog, this kind of overlaps and it doesn't work on her very well. But he seems pretty comfortable in it. Um, and it just kind of falls right off. What do you think, Aldi? You like it? <laughs> it kind of looks like a waist trainer to me, so it was cracking me up. But um, so if Ali um, seems to like it, we will consider purchasing one for this little girl because she's kind of the one that actually needs it. Her separation anxiety is pretty bad. Um, and she's a little nervous girl, huh? Yeah, her is. Well, that is it for this video. I will, um, if you want, I can record kind of a follow-up video for how they react to it, or if you want a video of how to kind of put it on or whatever, I'll do that. But it's up to you. If it's not something you're interested in, that's fine. I won't do it. Um, but I have two more unboxing videos to do, so I will get to those soon, and I hope to see you in that video. Thanks for watching. Bye.